Marylanders protest executive orders signed by President Trump on immigration policies. Advocates and religious leaders rally in Annapolis today. WJC is live. Political reporter Pat Warren is live with some of their concerns. Pat? Well, Vic, a short time ago, President Trump signed another executive order, this one enhancing the vetting process for refugees from certain Muslim countries. And now, earlier today on Lawyers Mall in Annapolis, there was a protest against his crackdown on immigration. CASA, Jews for Justice, and the Council on Islamic Relations respond to President Trump's immigration reform announced Wednesday. Beginning today, the United States of America gets back control of its borders, gets back its borders, cracks down on sanctuary cities, empowers ICE officers to target and remove those who pose a threat to public safety. And gives Immigration and Custom Enforcement broad discretion in determining who that is, sending a wave of concern through Maryland's immigrant and Muslim population and those who support them. We're here to say it loud and say it clear. Immigrants are welcome here. President Trump, I think he forget that his um, ancestors we're not born in the United States. Take a moment to look around, look next to you, okay? Because this is what democracy looks like. So tell me, tell me what democracy looks like. It's a fundamental Maryland value and American value that we're accepting of those who come here looking for that better life. We should continue that and fight back against the hate we've seen against immigrants. The president denies discriminating. We want dignity and equality for everyone, and I will be a president, I promise you, for everyone. Those demonstrators today have a hard time reconciling those words with the president's actions. I'm Pat Warren reporting, now back to you. Okay, Pat, thank you, and the president's immigration order also calls for 10,000 additional border patrol officers.